Okay, so if you have crazy eyebrows like me and I'm not the only one, then let's get to the video. Welcome back fam, it's your girl Jess. Today's video is eyebrows. Now, as you can see, I have two different sets of brows. These ones kind of, I feel like they go more straight and these ones like arch. So I wanna show you the best way I achieve my eyebrows, how I get them to look as symmetrical as possible if that's a thing and what I do to make them look really fluffy and full as you can see they're a little bit full but I do use the eye envy on them to try to make this part a bit thicker because I have no hair there and I've got hair here so if you like how this video is going make sure to give this big big video a thumbs up <laughs> subscribe to my channel and like this video so let's get to the video I said video so many times, let's get to it, let's get to it. So the first thing you're gonna need is an eyebrow brush. This one is by Benefit, as you can see, I've used it that much, that the name has come off. Now, a little tip for the bristles. You want them to be as sharp as possible. So what I do is I get a bit of lash glue on my hand and I kind of just dip it and then I make sure to make it as thin as possible you want it to be as sharp as like an eyebrow I mean an eyeliner brush so that's what I personally like to do see all these amazing models and girls on Instagram that have perfect models and then models have perfect eyebrows and then I'm out here like um okay let me do my best so what I like to do is just brush them up I have no product on them and yeah, I just like to brush them up to kind of get the shape that I want. As you can see, when I brush them up, they still go back down. It's not fun. Now, I know that some people like to put the brow gel and like over here, I have like a curly area. <laughs> um, I know that some people like to start off with the brow soap. Although I personally don't. I like to fill in my brows first and then I go over my brow soap and you'll see why in a second. This is one of my favorite brow palettes. It's the Krylon one. Basically medium to dark. So when you open it up you can see it's got all the different shades in here. It's got the lightest and it gets a bit darker. I love that it's got this shade as well before all my beautiful redheads it works so well with this then you obviously got the black and as you can see these are my two moan moan oh my god they're, they're my two main colors that I use I always like to go lighter with the eyebrows and not so much dark but I only will go dark if I want to intensify the edges what I like to do is I like to start at the bottom and just very lightly create like a line i'm just creating a line i have no makeup on don't worry if you have some hair under there we are going to clean it up i like to rest my pinky on my chin and look up now a trick as well is you don't want to lift your eyebrow i tend to lift this one all the time so i think i need a lift on that one because like how much better would that look but anyway i tend to do that so i make sure that i relax my eyebrow I'm just carving out the shape that I want for my brow. Then what I like to do is to brush just the bottom down, not this section, just this section. As you can see, I'm starting to grow hair there because of the eye envy, but I usually don't have any hair there. I go in and I start from right about, I guess, out a third of my eyebrow. And I very lightly kind of just define that. Now you're probably thinking you want your eyebrows to look bushy. I promise you, they will. Then what I do is I just go back with the residue and I just kind of like brush upwards the little hairs just to kind of make them look a bit more fuller. Just like that. Now I'm going in with this brow, O oh brow. It's like a soap brow. And I'm just using the Morphe setting spray. Then I just take the back of this. And this is where it starts to get good. And then I like to brush it up. I'm not super rough with this, but I kind of am. Because my brows don't stay up. I don't care what anyone says about their brows. Mine don't. 
and I have used it all. So when I brush them up, I kind of brush them out. I don't really brush them directly up, I brush them that way, if that makes sense. So I brush them that way. And then I kind of wait a bit and I get my finger and I just kind of press that down. Then again with my brush, I do this a few times because I've got curly brows. And then I just kind of use the edge to give it a shape. And literally look at that. How natural, look at the difference guys. You don't have to use a brow soap. You can actually use setting spray or like a normal. So again, I'm gonna brush it up. No product on this one. Now what I like to do to make sure they're both even is I kind of just like angle it. And then once I get the starting point, I just kind of rub that off. Now I am gonna use this a bit lower because this goes a bit lower. I just have no hair there. Again, gonna brush this section down. See, I have no hair there. Oh my gosh. All right, so starting from around here. Don't be afraid to keep going back and forth. And I make this quite thick, as you can see. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous having no hair there. Now this is my trickier brow, so I always kind of like to make sure that they're somewhat even. So I keep looking back and forth, back and forth. Um, I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker. And see how I'm using the edge of the brush? I'm not directly doing that, I'm using the side. And then with whatever's left over, I just kind of brush it up. Now, this section, as you can see, this section is way more fuller than that section. So I just get the brush and I just kind of do like strokes. Again, spraying in. I go a bit heavier with this one because it does not stay up. So now a little trick is I go back in with this palette. I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm just going in with these two shades. I just kind of like very lightly go over it, just like that. I just kind of feel like it gives, it holds my brows in place and it gives my brows a bit more color. The spoolie and then I just brush them one more time. So these are how the brows look. I'm just going to, because I want them to look even more schnizzled, I go in the middle with just any concealer. This will just make them look way more schnizzled. And like I said, I go in sections and I'm using just a flat, flat brush. And voila, you got your fuller brows. Very easy to do. I personally just think this is very beginner friendly. Um, I know that you can also do the sparse where you just kind of go in after. But I feel like sometimes when I do it, my eyebrows don't really look as kind of, I would say, I kind of like them to look a bit more messy. So yeah, if you guys also haven't checked out my beginner friendly eyeliner look, if you wanna get your eyeliner perfect every single time, you better check this out because it works so well. My sister did it and if she can do it, I really believe anyone can do it. <laughs> Sorry, Joe, but I had to say that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.